hello all welcome to tech capture so in this video we'll see how we can work with big table using a python so we'll do a multiple operations here using python so first we'll create a big table instance using python then we'll create a big table table and a column families using python then we'll generate some uh, dummy time series data in form of uh, temperature or humidity or environmental parameters and then we'll try to load that time series data into the BigQuery table. And after that, we'll try to read that data, which is loaded using a Python script. So without wasting time, I'll go to my VS code and we'll share my code. So first let's go to a big table homepage and we'll see if we have any existing big table and we have api enabled so currently it is not asking to enable api it means the big table apis are enabled so i can use this api using a python so if api is not enabled first you have to enable the apis okay so what i will do first i will create a python uh, sorry create big table instance using a python so i have code here so instead of calling functions so my plan was earlier to create a multiple functions like create instance create table then load the time series data and then read data and then call this function using a main file but i just want to show step by step so i'm not uh, calling the function so i will run each file individually so that we'll understand in a better way okay so first what i will do i will create a python instance so you can see the libraries I am using, I am using this big table client libraries and I am first giving all this detail which we give using creating the instance while creating the instance using a console. So if I go here and I try to show you, so if I click on create instance here, so whatever the detail it will ask here, the same detail we have to provide in Python as well. Okay. So all details I am providing in a form of variables and using the client library, I am using the method instance.create to create my cluster or a, a big, big table instance so i have defined few variables here the project name ttdev001 the instance name i'll be using btdev and i'll creating one climate tables where i'll be loading the time series data okay so first let me go to a create bt and let me go to a cloud big table folder okay and first i will run a create instance so let me run python create instance okay so i'll share a code with you so do not worry about a code so it is creating a python instance now so even if you get any error just try to troubleshoot that just google around that error and you will find a multiple articles and solution on google even i am learning in the same way so i did not get this code readily available somewhere so i did some troubleshooting i did some research i got multiple errors i solved that and then finally got my correct code so here are creating a big table instance so let me go to the console and let me reload here and we'll see if the instance is created so bt hyphen dev the name we have given to our big table instance okay so bt hyphen dev us central one a with a single node is created so let me see here yeah the number of nodes we have given us central one okay and we have given the development uh, version so it will create a single node okay so now the instance is created let me see if we have any table inside this instance okay if not i'll create table so here we do not have any table so let's create one climate table and create a column family inside that so i'll go to create bt table now so here also i am using the big table client libraries and using the service account i am using the credential i am using the service account keys to set my credential environment variable which will use to authenticate with this cloud big table apis okay so the table id i have mentioned a climate and i am using the method here if table is not exist then it will create this table using table dot create method and then it will create column family so column family i am creating environment parameter env hyphen parameters okay so let me execute this code now okay 
okay checking if table climate exists table climate not exist creating table climate created table climate then it will create a column family environment okay now what i will do i will another tab i will open uh g cloud and i'll seeing all these changes using a cbt cbt is cloud big table command line utility for our a uh, big table so we can read and write or interact with big table using this a uh, cbt so first let me set my project okay now let me do cbt ls so it will check the list of tables so currently it created one climate table so one thing remember the cbt first time you have to do some changes so there is one file cbtrc let me do ls hyphen a which is hidden file so i will show you that file yeah so this file cbtrc we have to add our instance name into that file then only it will work for you so if i do cat so you will see i have added this instance name and project name already if it is not you have to add okay then only this uh, command line utility will work so now if i do cbtls it will give the list of table currently only one table so i will try to do more operation on table i'll read also so currently it is having one column family env parameters okay and if i try to read table it won't give me any data so there is no data in my table currently okay now the table is created column family is created now i will try to ingest time series data okay so let me refresh here because we are not seeing the table yet so once we refresh we'll see yeah so in climate table we have a column family environment parameters so if i go on edit table you will see this environment parameters okay now i want to insert some time series data in form of humidity and temperature so what i am doing i am creating a dummy data i will show you how i am creating it so here <coughs> i am creating the dummy data so this is the start range i am giving so suppose i can give any start range here and the number of entries i want to load so suppose i want to load 10 entries i will give 10 if not i will give 100 so what it will do it is starting from this date first of jan 2022 and it is fetching a temperature data after every 10 minutes so it is just recording the temperature at every 10 minutes temperature and humidity so currently we do not have any sensors here so how we are doing we are just randomly picking any value between 20 and 30 for temperature and for humidity 13 and 70 till the two decimal point okay so these are the random values we are fetching or we are setting up for temperature and a humidity and that value we are loading into our big table in a column family environment parameter column temperature environment column uh, parameters and column humidity okay so this is my code so what i will do i will load 100 records now okay so let's go here and run this load time series data so it will print output <coughs> okay so it is uh, loading the data meanwhile what i will do i will just try to read the data earlier there was no data let me read a climate now okay now the data is being inserted every 10 minutes data you will see 620 630 610 so what is the temperature at 610 so it is uh, humidity is 69 and temperature is 21 so here 54 23 these are the random values we are setting okay so it <clears throat> it start from zero so it end with 99 okay so it set a hundred records and we can see all hundred records here
okay now how we can uh, read this data using python okay so for that i created another script uh, read data py so i want to just read it in human readable format so i'm just doing uh, extracting data from that uh, key and value pair so this is the code i created for that and let me try to run this file now so it will read all 100 rows in this format and the temperature is xyz and humidity is this at this time okay so i'll just first run it so you will understand how it is reading the data from our table so this is a reverse operation i am doing first i ingested the data now i am reading the data from the table <coughs> yeah now you could see the temperature is 20 12 humidity is 47.98 at time at this time so it is giving uh, the value at each timestamp for each 10 minute it is displaying the data so this example is just for reading we can perform a multiple operation once we able to fetch this data from the table for data processing so in this way we able to create our big table instance using python we able to create table and column family using python we able to load time series data we able to generate this time series data and then we able to read this time series data now once we have this script we can perform any kind of a data analysis on a big table or any kind of a data ingestion so we can integrate this python script in your cloud function you can integrate it with your a data flow or you can integrate it with your cloud composer data fusion or python script you can use in multiple ways okay so these are the python script so i will share this code if you have any questions or any doubt just let me know in comment section i'll try to answer that so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you again